What happens if Nick Saban is in Austin, Texas? Well, that's oh, what I, that's what I that, said. Even, that if he, even if he leaves, we'll plenty, see about that. Plenty of debate with that. Let's bring in the quarterback of the Alabama Crimson Tide live here, A.J. McCarron. Now, A.J., first off, what do you make of Robert Smith all but guaranteeing a win for your squad at the Sugar Bowl? Well, I, I'm glad he's showing some confidence in us, uh, you know, rather than doubt. Uh, I heard somebody doubting us at the same time, so uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad he's got more confidence. And when, when we say you heard somebody doubt, that, that could be America when we have this live voting here. At one point, it was 50-50 split emotionally. Where is this team as they prepare for Oklahoma right now? Uh, I mean, well, right now we're enjoying our time off. And then uh, when we get to work on Tuesday, uh, you know, we're going to come ready to, to win a ball game. Uh, it's still a, a BCS bowl game. Granted, it's not the national championship, but it's hard to play for a uh, national championship year in and year out. So still, like I said, a, an, another uh, BCS bowl game, a chance to have another 12-win season, and not a lot of teams in Alabama history have done that. So we got a chance to still make history, and we need to go out and handle business. AJ, you've had some uh, time to reflect after the loss to Auburn. Great perspective afterwards for a young man. How do you look back at that game now? Uh, the ex exact same way I did when I stepped off the field. Uh, I, I've always said I, I leave my, you know, my playing on the field. I feel like I go out and play my hardest every game, and I know what type of effort I put in. So I'm happy at the end of the day to, you know, whether we win or lose, um, to, to leave the field and not make it a personal issue. I, I don't want to ever take the game of football uh, into my personal life because it's it's not life. It, it's just the game at the end of the day. Well, part of your life, though, you're in Florida right now. Next trip is the New York City for Saturday night's Heisman presentation. When you first got word that you were a finalist, you smiled. Has it really sunk in that you're a finalist? Uh, I mean, it has just because I, I have my, my family here, and they keep reminding me that we're going to, to uh, New York for the first time, and uh, we'll be able to sightsee and uh, just take in the whole experience and, and live in the moment and, uh, you know, continue to st uh, be a blessing. And uh, it's just awesome. I love it. AJ, you can't ignore it. Now it's time for the waiting game for everyone. In between that time, rumors are constantly swirling, especially your coach Nick Saban being linked to the Texas job. Could you see him leaving Alabama for another job? Uh, no, sir, I can't. Uh, you know, I know Coach Saban better than anybody, uh, especially on our team and maybe the whole coaching staff. So that's what they mess, uh, mess with me about a lot. But <laughs> I, I don't see Coach Saban and I don't see I don't see Miss Terry uh, allowing uh, Coach Saban to leave either. <laughs> She's the real boss. We all know that. AJ, all the best. Good luck. Exactly. Good luck Saturday night. And good luck on January 2nd against Oklahoma. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. A.J. McCarron joining us. Young man's got his head on straight. Do, do the aware. Alabama fans know that he doesn't take the football off the field? Are they okay with it? <laughs>